You got a good uh, story from the set of Step Brothers, Will Ferrell, John C. Riley. Um, any was there anything in particular about that film? That um, well, the, my first it wasn't wasn't my first day, but it was close. I didn't know Adam McKay, the director of that. Well, sure, <laughs> and uh, he's, I mean he's a wonderful. So we're shooting a scene, and a cell phone goes off, and I hear Adam say, "Whose cell phone is that?" And he starts screaming, mm -hmm. "I told you never, ever." To let your cell phones onto the set. It's it, and he's screaming. I'm mean, going, oh my God, this is gonna be a long shoot. And he comes into the room. Who was it? Who was it? Nobody says anything. He turns around and he goes, Never, ever happen again. I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> it was his cell phone. <laughs> this is, so that's yeah. how you <laughs> that's were introduced how, yeah. to that's what this <laughs> shoot was gonna be. And you know, it <laughs> was <great>. um <laughs> The dinosaur uh, speech that you talked about. Yeah. I was sitting there at the, at the uh, Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> and uh, Adam McKay said to me, go tell Will and John that you wanted to be a dinosaur when you were young. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> he said, J no, just go tell them you want. I said, Adam, what the hell are you talking about? So it was not scripted? No. You just came up with no. okay. All so right. he said, go tell them. Mm -hmm. So I went over and I started talking, and both of them kept saying to me, that's just not possible, Dad. What, <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> and, and I came back, and I went, oh, that won't be in the movie. And Adam said, oh, yes, it will. <laughs> so, oh, man. I mean, the two of them, Adam, I mean, Will and John are so quick. They just, they just, you just, you can't keep up. Yeah. They're just so quick. I mean, it's great. Uh, I mean, which film, that, I mean, you've been in a whole genre of them from The Witches of Eastwick. I mean, I've got a whole bunch here. Silverado, Sea of Love, um, Jack Reacher. I mean, yeah. which genre do you enjoy the most? The Richard? ones that the checks cash. <laughs> my favorite genre. No, I, I like, the, the fact is I've been lucky enough right. to do all different kinds of films. You know, and, and six feet under six as well. Feet under, um, you were terrific in that. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. That was one of those things where um, I was just supposed to do the pilot, and uh, and then Alan Ball said, "You want? I would like to have you come back because he said it occurs to me that once your father dies, you don't stop thinking about him." So um, I said, "Sure." So I I came and went. It was great. Five years. Unbelievable. Uh, and do you have a bucket list director that you'd want to work with that you have? I don't your really think that way, you know. Okay. I mean, there's, it's, I don't have any like parts I want, want to play, or I just kind of, that, one of the things I love about being an actor is you never know what's around the corner. Like this shape of water, I get an email one day. Boom. Uh, yeah. And it's like, there it is. And now here we are with it. It's just, it doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, I'm, I don't even know how a movie gets made. It, when you see how many people make decisions about things mm -hmm. and how much money it takes, and it, you wonder how anything ever gets done. But um, once in a while, you, you hit a really good one. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.